Welcome back to DeadNet Studios. Prepare for 10 real werewolf encounters. Will this be the time the truth is revealed? Our first encounter takes place in the summer of 1972. The tranquil town of Defiance, Ohio, located about 55 miles south of Toledo, became the backdrop for a series of spine-chilling encounters that Defiance, a small Midwestern town known for its historical Fort Defiance and home to hardworking factory employees, found itself at the center of what might be the most bizarre dogman sightings reported. On the night of July 25th, during the graveyard shift at a local freight train company, Ted Davis and his colleagues stumbled upon a menacing figure with huge hairy feet and fangs and a big stick over its shoulder, which darted into the woods when confronted. The sightings didn't stop there. Approximately a week later, Davis encountered the creature again at the same rail yard, while a nearby grocer reported being attacked by a similar hairy, animal-headed assailant. The local newspapers, the Crescent News and the Toledo Blade, picked up the story, stirring the community with headlines likening the events to a real-life horror movie. Our second encounter involves the Beast of Canuck Chase from Staffordshire, England in 2007. The beast, described as a werewolf, has been a source of mystery and fear in the area for decades. Multiple reports of a large werewolf-like creature have been made often near the German War Cemetery on Camp Road. The legend began in 1975 when a group of paranormal enthusiasts encountered a snarling beast that stood on its hind legs before disappearing into the woods. In 2007, the phenomenon gained attention when a postman and other locals reported seeing the creature in broad daylight. Some speculate a connection to post-World War II military experiments, suggesting that if pigman hybrids were possible, so could wolfmen. Theories about the Canuck Chase werewolf range from misidentified animals to supernatural explanations, with some even suggesting ancient primitive beings emerging from old mines to hunt in the modern world. These stories contribute to the supernatural legends surrounding Canuck Chase, making it a point of interest for both paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics. Our third encounter involves the Brazilian werewolf, or Lobosomem, which has been a part of folklore and recent sightings in Brazil. In 2008 and 2009, there were reports of attacks by wolfmen, including a woman in Sao Sepe who claimed to have been attacked by a bipedal dog-like creature. A grainy CCTV image from Salandia shows a wolf-like creature standing on two bent hind legs, and some believe it could be the same creature that was found dead after a series of attacks. The photograph of the deceased werewolf discovered by locals suggests that the two incidents may be connected and that this creature might have been responsible for the reported attacks in previous years. If the CCTV image and the dead creature are the same entity, it would imply that the Brazilian werewolf was behind the assaults before its demise. The disappearance of the body before a proper investigation could be conducted has led to theories of a potential cover-up linked to the mystery surrounding the legend of the Lobosomum. Fourth, in 2011, a group of hunters in Victoria, Texas, found themselves surrounded by several mysterious creatures and managed to kill one of them. The incident has left many questioning the existence of werewolves. The man pictured holding the dead creature was not the one who killed it, but he and his fellow hunters were deeply unsettled by what they had encountered. The images captured that day are said to be genuine, with additional photos allegedly providing more detail about these beings. The story takes a strange twist when a game warden or ranger arrived on the scene. Instead of expressing shock or disbelief, the official calmly retrieved the body from the hunters, tossed it in the back of his truck, and drove away without any apparent concern. This peculiar reaction has led some to speculate that the warden may have encountered similar creatures before. The creature itself is truly unsettling, with its bizarre face, strange mouth, and unusual hands, legs, and feet. Experts have suggested that the deceased animal might be a baby werewolf, adding another layer of intrigue to the case. However, it seems that information regarding this incident has been censored, with more detailed images and possibly even a video having been removed from public view. Fifth, in May 2016, the woods outside of Hull in East Yorkshire became the epicenter of eerie events as locals reported multiple sightings of a werewolf near the Barmston Drain, a man-made channel near Beverly that serves as a major part of a land drainage scheme dating back to 1798. The creature, described as a formidable hairy beast resembling a mix between a man and a wolf, stirred local folklore and ignited widespread fear and curiosity. Witnesses painted a chilling image of the beast, with one woman recounting a harrowing encounter in December, where the creature switched from standing upright to sprinting on all fours, leaping over obstacles with astonishing agility. 
Another alarming sighting involved the creature attacking and then leaping over a fence with a German shepherd in its jaws. These sightings were linked to the legend of Old Stinker, a mythical Yorkshire werewolf reputed to roam the wolds, described as an eight-fifth tall, red-eyed, hairy beast with a notably foul breath. The area, known as one of the top ten most haunted locations in England, is steeped in dark history, once home to some of England's last wolves before their extinction and the site of over a hundred tragic drownings. As the community prepared for a communal hunt on the next full moon, equipped with cameras to document their findings, local labor counselor Steve Wilson offered to compile a diary of sightings, underscoring the blend of fear, intrigue, and mystery that enveloped the town. The events also drew the attention of the local historian Mike Covell, who conducts investigations and organizes hunts to uncover more about this mythical beast amidst the shadows of Barmston Drain. Our sixth werewolf encounter is from 2020 in New Brockton, Alabama. In Coffee County, involves residents reporting strange sightings and sounds in the nearby woods. Joe Blackburn and Tanner Medley from Bama Slam have received reports of an unusual creature seen by ATV riders, along with loud shrieking cries heard late at night that don't resemble any known animal in the area. This isn't the first time Coffee County has been the focus of attention for the unexplained as a team from California investigated reports of a Bigfoot or skunk ape a decade ago, but found no conclusive evidence. As the sightings and strange sounds continue, Blackburn and Medley are asking anyone with evidence such as photos or recordings to come forward. They speculate that the creature could be a bipedal, humanoid ape or even a werewolf, leaving residents both frightened and intrigued by the mystery lurking in the woods. Moving to our seventh encounter, on Tuesday, February 9th, 2021, a routine camping trip along the Oregon coast took a chilling turn for one woman. The densely forested campground, a familiar haunt for her and her friends, became the backdrop for an encounter that would linger long after the trip. As she battled a sudden onset of panic in the dimly lit cabin, she sought solace outside with her companion. Guided by the wavering beam of a flashlight, she stepped past their parked cars only to freeze. In the shadowed space between the pines, a creature lurked, its canine form twisted into something unnatural. Gray fur mottled with dark splotches, it resembled a hyena, yet its gaping jaw seemed frozen in a silent snarl. Reflective eyes pierced the darkness, an unnerving glow adding to the sense of unease. A wave of primal dread washed over her. Her hushed plea to retreat went unheeded, her companion oblivious to the danger. Back in the cabin, sleep proved elusive as the image of the creature and the chilling fear it evoked haunted her into the early hours, driving her to seek the relative safety of her car for the rest of the night. Up 8th in August 2023, YouTuber Dogman TP was walking through the woods in Cornwall during the day when he stumbled upon an unusual sight. Hidden amongst the trees, he spotted what appeared to be a pack of werewolves. Although the creatures kept their distance, watching him from their concealed positions in the forest, he couldn't help but feel a mix of curiosity and unease. As he tried to get a closer look, the werewolves remained elusive, making it difficult for him to capture a clear image. Despite his best efforts, he could only manage to photograph their glowing eyes peering through the foliage. The rest of their bodies remained obscured, leaving much to the imagination. Interestingly, the werewolves did not seem to display any aggressive behavior towards him. Instead, they appeared content to observe him from afar, perhaps just as curious about his presence as he was about theirs. This peculiar encounter left him with more questions than answers wondering about the true nature of these mysterious creatures residing in the Cornish woods. Our ninth werewolf encounter takes place on November 29, 2023. Roman Ochoa, a farmer from Oaxaca, Mexico, claimed to have witnessed a man transform into a werewolf-like creature near his ranch. Ochoa described the beast as a nagual, a figure from indigenous folklore believed to be a human who can shapeshift into an animal. The farmer provided a chilling photograph of the encounter showing a disturbing creature with piercing eyes walking on all fours. The unsettling image has left the community questioning the boundaries between myth and reality, wondering if the legends of old may hold more truth than previously believed. As news of Ochoa's claim spreads, people are grappling with the implications of this startling revelation and the possibility that such supernatural beings may exist. Our last and most horrifying encounter we do not know where or when it was taken is of a family video capturing a young girl playing in the shallow waters of a lakeshore that has become the stuff of nightmares. As the innocent child splashes and enjoys herself, a terrifying figure emerges in the background, a werewolf, slowly and steadily making its way towards her. 
its gaze fixed upon the unsuspecting girl. The creature's deliberate movements and unwavering focus send a shiver down the spine of anyone who watches the footage. As the father behind the camera realizes the impending danger, video becomes erratic, the lens jerking around as he prepares to take action to protect his daughter. Abruptly, the recording cuts off, leaving viewers with a sinking feeling of dread and unanswered questions. The fate of the girl and her family remains unknown, and we are left with no choice but to pray for their safety and well-being in the face of this terrifying encounter with a seemingly real-life werewolf. As a bonus encounter, we present to you a perplexing video that showcases a figure resembling a werewolf casually roaming the grounds of a zoo before settling on a nearby bench, all while curious onlookers observe with a mix of fascination and bewilderment. Upon closer inspection, however, it becomes apparent that this is not a real werewolf, but rather a remarkably realistic furry costume. The reactions of the bystanders, ranging from amusement to confusion, serve as a testament to the uncanny nature of the costume. If you see one in the woods at night, would you be able to tell? Our advice act as if it were real better to be safe than a snack for a real werewolf. As we've seen, the werewolf takes on many forms, from the beast of Canuck Chase to the Brazilian Lobus M.M. and the elusive creatures of Barmston Drain. Each encounter adds another layer to the mystery, fueling speculation and leaving us with more questions than answers. Do these creatures truly dwell among the shadows of our world? Or are these legends simply manifestations of our innate fears? Here at DeadNet Studios, we're committed to exploring the enigmatic and the unexplained. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of werewolves. Like and subscribe to our channel for even more chilling content that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Speaking of unexplained mysteries, be sure to tune in for our next installment in the Untold Real History series, where we'll examine the fascinating case of Zana the Russian Bigfoot. Was she a surviving relic of an ancient hominid species? or something else entirely. If there are other cryptids or unexplained phenomena you'd like us to delve into, please let us know in the comments below. Your suggestions help us create content that keeps you coming back for more. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your wits about you. After all, you never know what might be lurking in the shadows, just beyond the reach of the light. In the shadows of the digital night, we wandered far Tales to eerie lights. The next to use where fear.